So hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Sunny, your host, and today I'm going to talk about uh, one of the challenges that almost everybody faces when our project become huge, or it becomes uh, whenever uh, the code base increases, right? So in that case, uh, what happens? There is a chance that you might find out some bugs, or you you may have to do some improvements there, right? And uh, while doing so, what we do, we write certain comments, right? Fix this, fix that. And then we sometimes, let's say we will also say to do. And then after that, you mentioned that what you need to do there, right? So these kind of comments will be almost, you will find out scattered in in, in the entire code base. And uh, uh, since it becomes so huge, this code base has become so huge that it will it becomes very difficult, right? To track all of these, right? So um, and it's a major challenge, right? Almost we all of us face. And to deal with that, you can use and this VS Code extension that I'm going to talk about, um, and and it will help you to like index them all these to dos into your uh, into your sidebar, right? So let me show you that how it can be done. Okay. So first of all, uh, you can go to VS Code, and uh, in your extension button here once you click it so you can in your search bar you can search for to do and once you search for that so you will find out this uh, this extension that is called as to do tree okay so once you click on that uh, so you will see that it is almost has uh, almost uh, 5 million more than 5 million downloads okay and uh, it so you need to click on install here uh, since i have already installed so it, it says uninstall button here yeah so uh, so once you open that, you can just see a quick description of it and uh, you can see that it uses rip grep under the hood. Okay, again, it's a command line tool. If, if you want to explore it, you can do that. You can just click it and it will open a browser here and, uh, and it will open with the GitHub of that particular uh, command line tool. And it's a very interesting tool, uh, but it's a command line tool. Okay, and we won't need this into our project much, but it is available for all the three uh, major operating systems. So if you wish, you can try that later. Okay. Yeah. So let's go back to our uh, to do tree extension. Um, so what to do tree does is like it, it will track some of the keywords or phrases like to do fix me uh, bug. Okay. Or hack. And uh, if, if you want to see that, okay, how many, uh, what kind of tags it can, uh, uh, it can track for so once you are on this page right to do tree page you can click on this uh, gear button that is this uh, and the, once you click on that you can go to the settings okay and once you are in settings if you scroll down a bit yeah so here you will find out the general tags that it keeps track of so it can track bug hack fix me to do and these are the two uh, which represents this square brackets with a space in between this represents that uh, a task which is yet to be completed okay and then if you see that uh, with with an x in between then uh, this is this means that this task is to be uh, it is already completed okay and if you want to add any other item you want so you can click on that and you can add your own okay let's say if i add my name here let's, let's say sunny so uh, and if i click on okay so it will start even uh, uh, it will even start searching for that as well and it will also index it as well okay so let's go back to our project once let, let me show that how it works out so since you are in um, this is one of the projects that i did like it's a sample project okay that's uh, i have been doing uh, this playlist so uh, so you can see that it has readme and all those stuff is everywhere now let's say if i want to um, i want to add some note here or if i want to add a to do here that uh, so once I write to do, you can see it, it has already highlighted, right? So it's because it's happening because of that extension. And then if I write here that, um, let's say simply I, I said that update this, update this readme. Okay. And uh, that's it. If I save it and let's say if I add few more comments into our, some of the scripts, let's say if I go to this script and uh, if I am here and let's say I want to write here on top that to do let's say if i want to say um, add description or of the script okay and um, and apart from that so this is the to do thing and let's say if i want to if i let's say if i want to add uh, 
highlight if, if i want to use my custom tag that i created so i can even say let's say sunny so you can see it started uh, it started even uh, you can see that it started even highlighting that as well and after that i can say that uh, this is uh, like a sample task for you okay so similarly you can uh, do any others as well let's say let me go to um, any other uh, file let's say in this one and if i add here maybe let's say in inside this function uh, i want to add maybe doc string okay so i will simply say um, let's say if i add fix me okay i will simply say add the doc string here i'm just giving you a, a sample here or maybe uh, not fix me let's say if i want to add uh, this symbol here and if i provide a space between it that means it's a task i had to do okay so this is another way to do instead of saying to do you can even use this and then uh, apart from that let's say uh, let's let's say if i go to in configuration okay and uh, i have this uh, configuration defined here so let's say if i want to mention or that this could lead to some sort of a bug so i will simply say that bug and then uh, you can say that define path clearly this could be a source of error okay let's say if i have written this bug now since i have uh, added a lot of comments right with these tags so uh, now let's go to our uh, the extension that we already created so if you see on the left uh, left in your activity bar you will find out something called as to do's if you do not find it here so you can even go to this three dots and additional views and you can click on this and you will see that somewhere here but right now i can see that it is here itself so once i click on this uh, and if i click on fast api for ai this is a folder okay and you will see that uh, in the readme i have written a to do right let me expand this update this readme right if i click on this you can see that it immediately goes to that specific line and if i go to my scripts where i have made certain changes you see this to do add description to the script and all those if i click on that it will immediately go to that specific line so that's a very interesting part like in this way you can keep track of almost all your to do's and tasks okay so let's say if i go to some other ones in config you can see even it is giving some sort of a uh, like predefined icon as well like for bug it is showing this way right and this is the task which is uh, yet to be completed right so let's say if i add a doc string here let's say this doc string is added like for example okay and then um, if i want to show that that i this task is already complete so i will simply add an x between that once i do this you will see that on the left hand side it has become a tick mark right that means that this task is completed so that's how you can see that it is a very useful tool which you can utilize into your bigger projects okay and if you want to get rid of that like let's say if you want to clean your tree and uh, you you have already done a task you can even get rid of these uh, comments as well okay if it is done so you can just get rid of these comments so once you do that you will see that uh, your to do this will be updated simultaneously right and let's say if this bug is fixed i will simply um, get rid of this comment save it you can see everything is gone okay so that's the interesting part of it right and uh, now so this was a very simple small project let me sh show you some uh, a real world project or a project you can um, or a like a very huge repository so let me uh, go to our let's search for lang chain okay let's search for lang chain github and then if once i click on this and i can clone this repository so you can simply clone it locally once you clone it and then you can open it into your uh, vs code so, so i have already done that so let me open that uh, vs code for you lang chain project so here it is okay let me make it slightly larger so that you can visualize it properly or see it properly yeah so right now as you can see i will not add anything here as of now or oh, let's see that how many to do's and all those comments are here okay so if i open the to do's so you can see that it has some and you can see there are so many right 
there's so many already here okay now uh, as you can see they are also using this right if i click on uh, here and uh, you can see that it has it you can visualize it that it is these are the tasks that is left over right in a similar way if you click on this to do and uh, yeah so you can see there are a bunch of to do's left over everywhere in this project so that's how you can uh, even go into a large code base and you can search for the to do's that is left over and if you want to contribute you can use that and you can do the contribution there itself right so and apart from that let's say they, this is it's a huge code base right and if you want to uh, only search for specific keywords let's say to do if you want to search or fix me right so uh, there is an option here on top where uh, you can see you can filter the tree by those uh, specific to do's let's say if i want to search to do okay if i do that so it should show me all the to do's right so that's the quick way to scan a very huge code base right i hope you have understood that what is the main use case of this uh, extension and why it could be really useful in a large code base okay so so this way you will never miss any to do fix me or bug again and it's like a to do list built right into your code editor and i will highly recommend giving to do a tree to do tree a try and if you know other great vs code extension then let me know I, or drive drop in the comments i will try to review them and feature them in the next video okay and apart from this i will also come up with some more extension that is a very useful extension in our uh, which can help us in our day-to-day -day life so uh, that will be a uh, main idea behind creating this kind of uh, this playlist okay which will cover such kind of extension in details in detail okay so that's all thank you for watching uh, if you find this video helpful so don't forget to like uh, share and subscribe for more coding tips and tools i will see you in the next one thank you